So one way to make a transposition cipher a little more complicated is instead of just reading down the columns, we can pick the columns in a different order. And one neat way to do that is using a keyword. In this case, we're going to use the keyword money. And that keyword tells us two things. First, it tells us that we are going to do rows with five characters because there are five characters in the word money. The second thing it's going to do is tell us the order in which to read the characters. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the word money and say, uh, what is the order that these letters appear in the alphabet? So, uh, A, B, C, D, E. E shows up first. Uh, A, B, C, D, e, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, and then, uh, Y is going to show up last there. And so, this tells us the order in which we are going to read the columns of our encryption key. So we're going to start out by writing out our message in rows with five characters each. So that's, uh, buy some milk and eggs. Uh, and then we're going to need to pad this with a couple characters. So to now to write down our encrypted message, again, we're going to use this as the key for which, what order to write the columns down in. So this says, first, write down this column, the fourth column in the, uh, in the message. So first, I'm going to write, uh, S, I, D, P. And then, second column was going to be the, this one, right? Because again, this is telling me the order in which to read them. So next, I'm going to write down B, M, K, G. Uh, next, I'm going to write down the middle column, Y, M, N, S. Next, I'm going to write down this column. So that's U, E, A, G. And then last, I'm going to write down the last column, O, L, E, K. So again, I write down the columns, I read down the columns, but in the order specified by my keyword.